Welcome everybody. This is uh, day one of the Hard to Kill training program, um, and I'm really glad you guys are here. So, if, uh, <coughs> if this is your first time uh, logging onto the site, uh, we're going to be looking at the True Coach app today. So, just to give you guys a just a, a quick breakdown of how this app is is going to look for you guys, I'm going to go over some of the key features and some of the ways that the workouts are broken down. So there's uh, little to no confusion. So since you guys are all in the 12-week Hard to Kill training program, this program is going to be similar for everybody. However, there's going to be some little idiosyncrasies that you guys are going to have to uh, to deal with, and I'm going to expect you guys actually to um, to be inputting some stuff as well, so that there's some two-way communication going on between both of us. So by now, you should have got your invitation and logged on to true coach now true coach has obviously has an ios application and also has a uh, a google um chrome application or um uh, what's uh, android that's the word i'm looking for android application but you, in this case here i'm using my desktop so you have ample ways to to access your your true coach account and what's great about this is that you don't need to print out anything as long as you have your cell phone um you can look at the workout that's that's coming up and you get automatic reminders as well so it keeps you accountable to what's going on so this is just a an account i made for myself as you can see here joe bloggins um so the uh, 12 week program has been pre-installed for all of you guys already and what that means is you have a series of workouts that you're going to see up to six days in advance so that way you can you can look ahead and, and plan out your week and as long as you get them done they're they're planned out so that you have some rest of, of course but the idea is that you get them done um, on the dates specified but if you can't that's okay you can come back it's they don't get they don't get destroyed you can come back and, and do them once you have the time so if you look at day one on Monday I'm just going to click on that Okay, so from my view, if you're using your desktop, you can you can expand it, but on your phone too, you'll see that the interface looks pretty much exactly the same. We have a warm up, so th this is the warm up that's located right here. And what's great about it is that you don't need to go check what the actual exercises are. I put those in already. So let's say you don't know what uh, high knees are. Okay, well there's a video for that, and we can click on that. There you go. So that's your, your demo for high knees. All right, so for any exercises that are, that are kind of unclear, and so when you first start out, you're gonna realize, okay, I'm gonna be clicking on a lot of these, but you're gonna realize that there's gonna be a lot of repetition of some of the exercises, and that's on purpose, so that you guys actually don't have to constantly be looking at videos. So this way, it's gonna be, uh, you know, within a few weeks, you're gonna realize that you're gonna have the you know, similar workouts and similar warm-ups. And so therefore you can get through them a bit faster. So the first few weeks is gonna be a learning phase and it's gonna be a bit harder running guys, uh, just time management wise, but you'll, you'll notice it'll get faster. So <clears throat> in this day here, I have set up um, basically a, a set of work uh, a, that is expected for me to do. And in this case here, I have ABC drills. It's a track uh, set of track drills that I've had uh, that I program for you guys. Uh, additionally, a run, okay, and then another run. So uh, this here is great because what it does is every time I, I put in something like a run, you're going to see that over on the side here, you're going to have a metric. So every time you input something, so the difference here is that when I'm done an exercise, okay, I'm going to be able to actually click down below and add to the fact that I'm done. Now, since I'm in my coaching account, account I can't actually do that right now because this is uh, this is like I'm coaching myself right now. But what you'll see is that there'll be an input area right below, let's say this run over here, and you'll be able to actually input your time and how you felt into that, uh, into that section here. And then it'll save it automatically. And then you'll have this little uh, metric box, which I'll, I'll add later to let's say your runtime and it'll constantly update it for you. So that brings us to the account where we can look at our metrics. So this is your dashboard and it's going to tell you how often you're working out you know your 30 day compliance your 90 day compliance. So are you you know keeping the habit of training and uh, if not 
then obviously I get to see that. And then we can come up with solutions for that. Additionally, you have goals. So what are your short and long-term goals? Now that's something that you guys are gonna be working on the first day. So you guys could input that here. And all you need to do is click on the little edit button and it'll go in. Um, when it comes to things like uh, metrics, so um, you can add in your weight in your profile and your height and all that stuff. So, oops, we'll go back here. Clients, back to drop logins. Sorry, this should be a bit easier. Wait, okay, here we go. So your uh, your account, you can constantly add your progress when it comes to weight, when it comes to body fat percentage. Really what we're looking for um, in this 12 weeks is uh, looking at your, your body weight. If you're able to calculate your body fat percentage, I'll be posting something on that. You can do it. It's great for progress and monitoring your progress. If not, it's not the end of the world. But all you have to do is just step on the scale and every month we're just going to uh, we're going to take a look at how you're progressing. And if you can do the actual body fat percentage, that's great too. And that's going to be something that's going to be listed in the metrics as well. Uh, additionally, when we're looking at something like nutrition, so down here, uh, you're going to be getting a, a guideline for nutrition, which is going to be based on um, your height, weight, and your, your goals. And you're going to notice that um, there's going to be a whole bunch of different macronutrient targets, which are located here, carbs, protein, fat, fiber, and your total calories. So that's going to be something that I'm going to build up for you guys. And additionally, you guys are going to be expected to follow on the Chronometer app, which is going to be a, a post I'm going to do uh, after this one. So it's going to be a separate post from, from the True Coach explanation. And so from there, you'll be able to actually uh, figure out how many calories do I need during the day? You know, what's my protein, uh, carbohydrate, and, and fat and macronutrient uh, breakdown for you know, the, the 12 weeks that you guys are going to be training. So that's going to be all listed there. And it's going to show up on your dashboard as well once we actually have values to actually track. And then I can see and you can see how you guys are doing. And then there's progress pictures. So I highly recommend that you get those in. What this does is it gives you objective measure of success. So as you start out, right, you take a front picture, a side picture, and a back picture. And, you know, uh, ideally you want to keep it as scientific as possible. So take it roughly at the same time of day, take it in the same spot with the same light, with the same phone, the same camera, whatever it may be, and then you can upload them. Don't do it every day. It's You're not going to see any difference, right? And it's going to be frustrating. Um, it should be done every month. So start now and then in the month you'll take another picture and then by the end of uh, the three months you'll have uh, a set of pictures that you can you can put in and ref refer to so um, you know sometimes you don't realize that you're actually progressing um, and actually having a picture that is photo evidence that you know your body is changing you know whether you're trying to put on size or you know uh, reduce body fat it's a it's a great way to have an objective measure so that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I'll give you guys just another um, tip here when we're looking at the actual workouts themselves. So if I go to something like this one here where we actually have some good old-fashioned squats and uh, <coughs> med ball pushes and whatever it may be, this is just a random workout. This isn't necessarily one that you guys are actually going to do yourself. Um, if you notice, there's no weight. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking here at um, Warrior 3. Um, if we're looking at like ring rows, uh, hip thrusts, whatever it may be, if there's no weight listed, so you know like 50 pounds or 80 pounds, whatever it may be, it's expected for you to find a weight that's challenging for the rep set, but not so hard that you can't do it without a break. Okay, so I, I hope that's clear. Um, if there's no weight mentioned, then it's expected for you to actually work with a weight that's manageable for you. And since this program is is, is, a, is a general program for all, um, I'm not going to go around and, and, and try and guess all of your uh, one rep maxes and three rep maxes. It's going to be up to you. So um, that's the beauty of the program is that you work at your own capacity, not somebody else's. Okay, so for somebody, if you're doing like a dumbbell split squat, which is an advanced movement, I'm not expecting you guys to do it right away 
um, you know, I, I've written in, if 10 pounds is too easy, you know, then find one that, that is more difficult. You know, if you can't do it with any weight at all and you're just doing it with no weight, that, that's fine as well. Um, the beauty about this is that it is what we call scalable. So therefore you can actually do the same amount of work and have the same amount of exertion with no weight at somebody that's got 100 pounds. Okay, so you're always working within that scalability concept where um, if I do 10 reps with 100 pounds in my hands and you do 10 reps with n nothing in your hands, but at the end of it, we're, we have the same elevated heart rate, then, you know, we're working at basically the same capacity. It's just that I'm obviously able to handle more weight and I'm a bit stronger, but that's something I've built towards. So uh, the idea here is that we always keep things scalable. So, guys, I hope that really helps you out. Um, that's just the, the bare bones of how this uh, program actually works. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop me a line. And good luck. And I hope you guys uh, really start to crush it uh, this first week. All right, guys, take care.